What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name's Caleb. Today in this video, I'm gonna hopefully be installing my solar panels. Right here is my giant Renogy battery. Um, this is a 200 amp hour battery and it's humongous and weighs like a hundred and something pounds. It's super heavy. I have no clue what I'm gonna be doing here. I don't know anything about anything. I've never done anything with solar panels or batteries or wiring or anything like that. Um, I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Um, that being said, I've watched a million YouTube videos on how to do it and uh, I was looking at the instruction manual and it seems eh, easy enough. Seems like something I can tackle myself. Um, but my older brothers, um, both of them are electricians and hopefully they'll be getting home from work soon and they can help me figure this out. This thing here is no joke. This thing is super, super heavy. Gonna try and uh, move this around here. Jesus. All right, breakthrough. We got this thing wired up, and um, yeah, so I think I think it's uh, doing what it's supposed to do right now. And next, I got these cables here, which are gonna hook to the solar panels. Okay, so this here, um, there's two of these. This one here is positive and positive, and this one here is negative and negative. Um, so that's going to be what we're going to connect to. We're going to connect them to these solar panels up here. So yeah. Anyway, we, we got both of the positive, both of the positives here. You're going to clip into one piece. Like that. And then we'll get both the negatives here. Which we'll click into the other piece. Before I hook this to the solar panel, I'm actually gonna um, finish off the end of this here. See, they kind of they pre-cut it a little bit, um, but I gotta finish it off and pull it off, and we're gonna put this into the charge controller first before I hook it to the panel. We're gonna hook these up and hopefully nothing explodes. All right, we got blinking lights. All right, oh, now it's back to blinking. Um, okay. I'm going to take a second here and look at the instructions and see what I can figure out. But we might have just done it. Um, let's, uh, 
Let, let me take a second here and I'll try and figure things out. All right, I just uh, read through the instruction manual and um, that flashing light means the battery is charging normal. So everything is perfect. I did a ace job, number one, best in the world. I did a good job. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Um, so what I'm gonna do next, I guess, is hop up on the roof and I have these uh, brackets here, which are gonna attach onto these holes on the bottom of the solar panel. And I'm gonna screw those down to the roof rack, I guess, um, so that the solar panels don't go anywhere. And um, then I'm gonna wait for my older brothers to get home and we're gonna hopefully wire up that switch panel and that fan which should be should be easy I think um, but then again I don't know anything so um, anyway I'm gonna head up on the roof and mount up these solar panels okay so I think these little plates we're just gonna kinda put them on just like that little uh, bolt and nut right through there tighten it down and then we'll flip them over and um, be able to screw these little holes here down to the roof rack. Hopefully I'll be able to get these wires in between the cracks of the board there and run the wires underneath the roof rack. I'll probably um, get a few little brackets to uh, secure the wire to the bottom of the roof rack. And then what I think what I'm going to do is just run the wire in through the door here um, I think I things might change but I think for right now I'm just gonna run the wire in through the door and see how that goes All right, so I got the solar panels up front there. I haven't screwed them down to the roof rack yet. They're still just set up there, but I got the uh, wires running in between the boards there. I had to drill out a little bit of a hole to get the wires to fit through. But um, there they are coming through. And like I said, I'm gonna get some uh, I'm going to do something to attach them to the bottom here and then just run them through the corner of the door. And uh, Carter is actually home from work now and he's jumped in here and he's got some wiring supplies and we're going to hopefully get some stuff wired up and you can see everything here is still going good with my battery. It's charging just fine and um, yeah. So let's see what we uh, can get done as far as some wiring.
slide on and off. Is it going to fall? Is it? It might come down if I was bouncing around. I don't know. Take it, uh, take it off while you're driving. Flick it on. It is. So the switches are off. So your down is on. <laughs> this might be too industrial. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> this, I just, when I went on Amazon, I looked up 12 volt fan, and this was like the cheapest one that came up. And I was like, alright, let's try it. Mm -hmm. That's my complaint. No, it's definitely loud. The only one that's gonna. works but I just am surprised the charge controller doesn't give you a little more information all right there's my fan kind of uh, a little bit too industrial for the space maybe will you turn it on real quick Curtis I'm not even getting it's not even which way is it, is it sucking any it's going the other way though no it's blowing in it's just barely it's just not getting anything it's really not even getting Hitting me with air over here. Let's, clo let's close everything up and see if it moves air through the van. Close that other door. For how fast it's spinning, it's not moving much air because there's no there's no way for air to get to the back side. Of it, the problem. Well, there is. It's not a lot. Yeah. yeah, it's not a not a perfect setup. I mean, well, that might have to be changed. That fan you, is definitely too noisy to have by the bed anyway. 12.8 right there on the reader and the solar panels aren't really in the sun right now um, I'll move into the sun at some point and see What we can get uh, But yeah, like I said, this is all very crude, but uh, it's functional at the moment, so um, Yeah, all that's left for me to do is sort out this mess of wire on top and I still have to screw the solar panels down to the roof um, but I think this is where I'm gonna end the video and um, to see it all cleaned up and finished up you'll have to tune into the next video um, and you'll get to see me play around a little bit with the uh, functions inside the van uh, and stuff like that so anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video